Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. So today's video is kind of self-indulgent because it's a secondhand Barbie doll haul. Not anything that you can find on the shelves right now or anything new, you know, anything currently trending. Um, but they're just dolls that have been released in years past that I think are really, really cool. Some of which I had as a kid, so like I was excited to rebuy them. And I just thought it would be fun to share them on here. Do like a very quick style review, not like super in depth, but just like talk about them and hopefully find some of you guys out there who also have enjoyed these dolls or who now will enjoy these dolls. I don't know. I know it's not like the most relevant content, so I'm sorry, but I just am really excited that I wanted to share that with you guys. So the dolls, I've got five here today. So like I said, we're going to be very quick with like reviewing them because like, I don't want to take up too much of your time, you know? So first of all, we have two Dolls of the World Princess um, editions. I've made a couple of videos about these dolls before, and from the second that I got the first batch of them, I was hooked, so now I have to keep buying more. So this is the Princess of the Renaissance. Super excited about her. On the back, like with the others, she's got information about the Renaissance period. I'll put like a picture up here and you can pause to read it if you want to. And then from the same line, we also have the Princess of Ancient Greece, another one that I'm so stoked to have. And like, you can't really see now, but she's got so much detail on there that I didn't expect. And I'm just so, so excited to be able to unbox her again with more information. Very, very cute. I love the little like informational blurbs on the back of these boxes. I also should say it's not like I bought all these dolls in like one listing or in one day or anything. I just kind of routinely go through Mercari and eBay and secondhand sites to see if there's a good deal on any dolls that I want. And so as there have been, I've bought them. So some of these dolls I've been waiting a while to unbox. So like if I'm extra excited, that's why it's because they've been sitting here taunting me, but I've been waiting until I had like enough dolls to kind of do a doll haul video. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, on to the next one. Ooh, who do I, okay, we're gonna save like my, my most exciting one for last. So out of box, I've got two of the Barbie Fairy Topia Sparkle Fairies. I had one or more of these as a child. I cannot for the life of me remember like what color I had or if I had all of them because they all feel very familiar. I don't know if like you guys get that vibe, but yeah, they all feel like something that I've had before. And there's a pink, purple, and blue one. Obviously, I have pink and purple, or pink and blue, my bad. <laughs> I would love to get the purple one. I really want to complete the set. But I was so excited to be able to find at least two of them for good deals online. One of them, the pink girl, she is missing her shoes. I'm not, you know, super bothered by that. I honestly kind of prefer fairy dolls to not have shoes. So I will probably just take the blue ones off. But we have these dolls. And then lastly, this one. Oh my god. I was so excited to find this doll. So this is... Mermaid Fantasy, Kayla. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this doll. She, you can find like more listings for her out of box, but I wanted to get her in box because you might be able to see she's got kind of like little arm warmers. I don't really know what you would call them, but she's got those on her arms. And almost always, if you buy this doll out of box, they don't have the arm warmers. Or the second issue is that the tail, this is the exciting part, the tail is silicone. So it's like a soft tail, which is really unique and awesome. And the problem with that is that it does have a propensity to break, especially because this doll is from 2002. So like, she's kind of older now. And so yeah, a lot of out of box listings will have the doll have like splits in her tail right where it bends. So I really wanted to get one in box, even though it definitely was pricier. The other thing is that there were two other colors I'm gonna like twist the box to hopefully get you guys a good view here. There was also a pink haired, teal tailed Barbie, and then Christy came with purple hair and a purple tail. And those I feel like are less expensive, especially the pink one. I don't know if there were more of those or just like more people decided they didn't want them, but the orange one is the one that I also had as a kid. And I, I love orange, orange and yellow are my favorite colors. So like, of course she's the one that I want now. And of course, therefore, she's the one that was most expensive and hard to find. But finally was able to find a good deal for her in box. So like I snatched that up right away. <laughs> and she's the one that I'm the most excited to get into today. So with that being said, that's all the dolls that we have. Now it's time to unbox them, at least the ones that I can unbox. I'm going to do that off screen and then I will be back to gush about these old dolls a little bit more. I'm so sorry if this is a boring video, but like I'm excited, so I hope that at least some of that energy can spread. Anyway, I will be back in a second. 
While I'm off unboxing, I just wanted to remind you guys that I do have links in the description for Tabby Tales Cat Rescue. I'm not affiliated with them, but if you want to support a cat shelter doing good work, you should definitely check them out. Okay, I know there's nothing happening here right now. I thought that having $5 in here would be a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> so I'm just going to bring them into frame one at a time, starting with the ones that I didn't actually have to unbox. Pink Sparkle Fairy. Look at her. Oh my god. I love glitter. Um, I know a lot of people are not a big fan because it does tend to get everywhere. And that's what I like about it. <laughs> I like that like glitter will just get everywhere. <laughs> I know that's a weird opinion to have, but like, I don't know. I feel like if I randomly find some sparkles on myself, I'm like excited about it. It's like, oh, cool. I get to be extra fabulous today. <laughs> so I really love these sparkle fairies. They have the painted on or like glittered on top. I don't know. And then her skin on her body is also like infused with sparkles. I just am obsessed. I think it's so pretty. She has sparkly wings as well. I don't know. Okay. This side isn't sparkly and this side is sparkly. Hers are attached like this, but the blue fairy has them attached in the reverse. You'll see in a second where the sparkle is on the back. Which way is the right way? I need to know. I'm very confused. But anyway, I just think it's so cute. I feel like these wings are so fun compared to a lot of like current Barbie Harry wings. Um, subtle shade there. Just so cool. The hair definitely is going to need a wash and I'm a little nervous about it because like there is tinsel in there. But it's really gross. So, I mean, worst case scenario, I can reroute some tinsel in there if I have to. Lovely flowy fairy skirt. I just think the design is so cute for these. We're going to let her stay in the back while we take care of the blue one. So... Here she is. Her hair's a little poofier for sure. See what I mean about the wings though, where hers have like the plain material on the front and the sparkly on the back. What is the proper orientation? I'm confused. Uh, she also has the molded on sparkle top, different neckline, which I think is cool. Um, blue toned skin, slightly different on the face versus the body just because of the age. Like it's, it's just like a different material. So it's aged slightly differently. It's fine. It's something I expect. I don't know. I just, I just love them so much. And I just want to pop these up here. This is going to be a theme. This is always a theme on my channel. It's nothing new, but like, look at these gals. Look at how pretty they are. This is just like a boring play line doll. The top is molded on. The skirt is very small, but like they look so much better than current play line Barbies to me. Maybe I'm biased and I'm super wrong. I don't know. I just think that these are so cool. Like I know that I had them as a kid. So that definitely adds to why I'm so happy to have them again but I just think they look so pretty and when I get my hands on the third one they're gonna be a cute little set of three sparkly glitter fairies oh my god I'm so excited I'm very happy with these I probably like I said will take her shoes off because I'm you know I like barefoot fairies but so cute so happy they're so simple but they're so pretty so very very excited to have those in my collection and then who do we want to talk about next Let's go with the princess of ancient Greece. Stay. I'm going to move my camera up just a smidge. Because I feel like you can't. There we go. See her whole face? Because she's very tall in her stand. They did come with stands, which we obviously love. She had like a little certificate of authenticity. Very fun. And like a passport. If you've seen my videos on the Dolls of the World Princess Collection, you already know all about that. So like, I don't want to repeat myself too much. But... She's very pretty. Get her offer stand. Just like the dangly earrings. The hair is a brick of gel. It's very sticky and gross, which makes me nervous because I don't want to ruin her hairstyle and I want her to have these beautiful curls, but I'm going to have to wash it. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to like recreate that. Look how shiny it is. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out a way to like remake this hairstyle. That's a problem for me later though. Like the, the outfit so pretty it's so flowy it's draped beautifully it's got this lovely printed on detail there's a whole gold dress underneath and it's got multiple layers to it the shoes for this line are always like really boring they're just slip-ons which isn't I don't know the most accurate for ancient Greece but like the outfit is so beautiful and she's got a little bracelet I don't know I'm just I'm obsessed with her I'm completely obsessed. That's all I have to say. I think this whole line is just so stupidly pretty. And 
I've like raved about them a lot on the channel more than I maybe should for like a doll line that literally isn't even currently being produced but how can you not appreciate that like she's so beautiful anyway let's get to the next one <laughs> So I don't know, like the Barbie Princess of the Renaissance you probably saw had a different sturdier box. I don't know why this was like a different level of specialness. I don't know. I don't know how to word it. I don't know what the situation was, but she comes with like a different pink label certificate of authenticity. And she also came with like a card, like a Barbie trading card some of her information very interesting i don't i don't know what the deal is there i'm not complaining but i am confused again she has her stand we'll get her on there in a second but y'all this is a beautiful doll again dangly earrings i love the fact that they have like the actual movement to them and then again this is also what makes me think that she's like a more special edition for some reason she was like a 25th anniversary or something i don't really know but her necklace is all strung like it's beads there's the main piece here and then i thought this was going to be like wire but it's like loose it's rubber banded on right now because i don't want to lose it but like that's a proper necklace hello so cute so many different fabrics on the dress like she's just so beautiful hello the hair so cute not as terrible as the princess of ancient greece back here um, going to be a lot easier to fix up because I feel like I can just wash it with the bun still in there and it'll get nice. And like the headpiece, oh my God, everything about her is just so stunning. Like I said, I've made videos on these dolls before. I just can't stop talking about how amazing they are. I'm never going to shut up about this. <laughs> Look at these two together. Amazing. I need to have, once I get all the ones that I want, I need to have like a photo shoot for all of my Dolls of the World Princess editions because <laughs> like at this point I have what let me count really quick one two three four five six seven eight I think ten <laughs> I think ten of them but I don't want every single one um and some of them are a lot harder to find slash a lot more expensive than others so like I'll probably skip out on some of the most expensive ones but they're so pretty I'm so happy to have these but we still have one more doll to talk about and arguably she is the one that I'm most excited about. I just love mermaids. Um, if you know me, you know that. I have always been obsessed with mermaids. I think they're beautiful. I recently had to find out via my husband that not everyone loves mermaids, and I was shattered by that. <laughs> but she comes with, like, a little orange uh, mirror and then a little orange comb, which are both very cute. But look at her. Oh, my God. The uh, clear straps of the top definitely have yellowed with age. It's fine. It makes sense. She has very loose joints, as you can see. But again, she's 20 years old, so it makes sense. This tail, silicone, sparkly. I don't have the actual fin on yet. Okay, here's the fin separate. Beautiful. Um, I definitely chewed on this as a child, and it is taking every ounce of my willpower and like adult knowledge to not chew on it now. It's such like a satisfying plastic it's like old poly pocket clothes i just want to eat it and i know that i shouldn't want to but it slides in who okay hold on this might have to be an off-camera thing just because her joints are so loose maybe not we're, we're gonna try again i really want to show you guys this on camera but her joints are so loose Ooh, i don't want to break anything either you know like i'm okay yeah we're gonna we're gonna have to go off camera i'm sorry okay there we go i got it <laughs> i was so scared i'm sorry but that's what it looks like on definitely a different color. I think part of that is the aging and part of it is probably just that it wasn't color matched super well. I don't even care. Like, I love this doll so much. So a few things with her. First of all, she's got her little like sleeve thingies with her like flowing tassels. And it just looks so magical. I know you can't see the whole thing in frame right now. I'm sorry. But like, she just looks so magical. And then she has this thing on her back where you can pull this I, I like have to hold her just right so I don't mess anything up because I'm I'm trying to be so gentle with her because she is so old like I'm not trying to break anything right but her arms can move independently like a normal Barbie and so can her head but then if you move this little lever they like randomly move I don't know I don't really get it like it's kind of a weird thing to do but I guess it's cool that they had that also face beautiful crown beautiful and the hair for having sat in a box for 20 years, 
it is so soft and so pretty. Like, I thought I was gonna have to wash it and I honestly don't even think I'm going to need to because it's already so soft. I'm shocked by that. And then the last thing is obviously you saw she has a joint here. She also has a joint in her knee that you can move by yourself or you can squeeze her hips and it moves on its own. And especially with the fin, look at like just the lower half. Look at that flopping around. That is so cool. Obviously, like I said, the silicone can tear very easily. That's not something that I'm going to be able to like do very frequently. I'm going to have to be really careful to display her and keep her in a situation where her tail is like not moving so that I can maintain that silicone for as long as possible. But overall, like, look at that. Look at her. Sorry. I can't even move my camera down enough to like actually get her in frame. My bad. I thought that was going to be something, but it wasn't. But just like, look at her. She's so pretty. I don't know if this is just my nostalgia talking, because like I said, I had this doll as a kid, and it was like one of my favorite dolls as a child. So even though her joints are extremely loose, to have her again now, I'm so emotional. She's so pretty. I feel like even though it obviously doesn't age well, especially if it's being played with, because the silicone will rip and tear and degrade, this is such a cool tail design for a mermaid doll. I don't know if this has ever been done by another doll brand or by Barbie before or after this. I don't think so. At least not as far as I've ever seen. And I think it's so cool. Like I said, I know it doesn't age super well. So that might be why people don't do it more often. But frankly, I feel like it's worth it. Like, it looks so good. I feel like this is probably one of the most well-designed mermaid tails ever. And I'm extremely picky with my mermaid tails because I love mermaids so much. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm just so happy and so excited to have this doll and all of the ones here. Like, ah, they're just so cute and so pretty. And I am in such a good mood. So happy with this. I think it's really cool to get older dolls, um, both ones that I have had as a kid and also ones that I haven't just because especially with Barbie the quality is just so good in older dolls and then the ones I had as a child it's like I'm reclaiming a little bit of my childhood right there I'm getting to relive the days before I knew how stressed out I was <laughs> I don't mean that in a dark way I'm just like fooling around but I'm very happy I hope some of you guys could understand where I'm coming from this video and enjoy it even though it's not a new doll release like I said I know this is not necessarily the most popular kind of video for me to make but like I'm just so happy that I had to share it with like the few of you that are going to understand what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys could enjoy it. Um, if you did, if you could like the video, that would mean a lot. I do make videos every Monday and every Thursday. They're not always old doll videos like this. So if you aren't subscribed already, you could subscribe to see more new doll content. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.